Good morning, students. Today we are going to see the first unit, poem, Life, by Henry Van Dyke. So this is a memory poem. Uh, okay, let's see about the poet. Henry Van Dyke. Uh, his period was uh, from 1852 to 1933. He was an American author, poet, educator, and clergyman. He served as a professor of English literature at Princeton University between 1899 and 1923. He was elected to the American Academy of Arts and Letters and received many other honors. Uh, this poem is a sonnet. Uh, the word sonnet is uh, derived from the Italian word sonato. What is sonato? Sonato is nothing but a little song or small lyric. A sonnet has 14 lines. The first 8 lines are called octave. So 8 octave. And the last 6 lines are called uh, sisted. So totally 14 lines, 2 stanzas. And uh, this is written in uh, iambic pentameter. Uh, what is iambic pentameter? Uh, a line with 10 syllables accented on every second beat. So each and every line of a sonnet will be having 10 syllables and 5 unstressed syllables are followed by 5 stressed syllables. I have given you an example for this. Not mourning for the things that disappear. In this line totally we have 10 syllables. The underlined ones are stressed syllables and the rest are unstressed syllables. This poem is a beautiful inspirational poem depicting poet's determination to live a purposeful, positive and fruitful life. The language used in this poem is quite simple. So this is the first eight lines of the poem. First stanza. First let me read out this. Let me but live my life from year to year with forward face and unreluctant soul, not hurrying to, nor turning from the goal, not mourning for the things that disappear in the dim past, nor holding back in fear from what the future wails, but with a whole and happy heart that pays its toll to youth and age and travels on with cheer. In the first answer, the poet says how he wants to live his life. Let me but live my life from year to year with forward face and unreluctant soul. What is the meaning? The poet wants to lead a joyful life with forward face and unreluctant soul. What is unreluctant soul? The person who is willing to do something. Not hurrying to not turning from the goal. The poet wants to move towards his goal patiently without a hurry. Not mourning for the things that disappear in the dim past. He thinks that one should not mourn for the things that he had lost in the past. Mourn, feeling sadness. What is the meaning of dim past? Unhappy past experiences. Nor holding back in fear from what the future veils. Uh, he is not worried of the future also. We don't know anything about our future. It's hidden. So the poet is not afraid of his future. So veils is to hide. But with a whole and happy heart that pays its toll to youth and age and travels on with cheer. He wants to move forward in life with happy heart paying all the dues, uh, toll, that is dues or, or duties uh, demanded by age and continue to travel forward with cheer. So this is the meaning of this. First stanza. Uh, this is the second stanza. 
In the second stanza, the poet further expresses his determination to live a great life. So first, uh, let me read this. So let the way wind up the hill or down. Over rough or smooth, the journey will be joy. Still seeking what I sought when but a boy. New friendship, high adventure and a crown. My heart will keep the courage of the quest. And hope the road's last turn will be the best. So, let the way wind up the hill or down. Over rough or smooth, the journey will be joy. The poet says that the way of life is full of twists and turns, ups and downs. It is sometimes rough and sometimes smooth. According to the poet, the journey of the life should be joyful. Still seeking what I sought when but a boy. New friendship, high adventure and a crown. Uh, he says he will continue seeking new friendship, uh, thrilling adventure and a crown in the same manner when he was just a boy. Uh, crown. Crown is uh, a prize or position offered for being the best. My heart will keep the courage of the best and hope the road's last turn will be the best. He says his quest will never stop. Uh, what is quest? A long search for something. He hopes that every turn in his life's journey will be the best. So this poem shows the poet's optimistic view of life through his personal experiences. He made the reader understand whatever the situation comes in life, one should enjoy the life. We should have eternal hope that our story ends joyfully. Now, uh, let's see the rhyme scheme. Uh, the, uh, this is the second stanza. Uh, the first stanza rhyme scheme is uh, A, B, B, A and uh, A, B, B, A. So, this is the second stanza. Let's see the rhyme scheme. First one is down. So that is A and B, B, again crown, A. So quest best CC. So A, B, B, A, C, C. Uh, and uh, what is the rhyming word? Down, crown, uh, joy, boy, quest, best. And uh, we can find alliteration also here. Uh, what is alliteration? Alliteration is a figure of speech in which the same sound repeats in a group of words. Uh, such as uh, the W sound in way and wind up. Can you see this? Way, wind up. W sound. Hmm. Thank you students. And uh, as I said, this is a memory poem. Don't fail to memorize this poem. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you.